if you have that issue or that habit of that does not make you weird that does not mean you're the only person on earth who does it it's just that a lot of people don't talk about doing it hey what's up thanks for coming back to my channel all right so this video is a little bit different from my other ones but there is a really good reason why i'm talking about this particular product today that i'll be talking about and showing you so if you don't know this about me specifically there is a reason why i got my medical card okay the promise there's a reason that we're talking about this so when it comes to having either anxiety or adhd or something of that nature where some of us just don't like like sitting still I just for whatever reason my brain tells me oh you were gonna sit and do a task and focus on it no you're actually gonna go walk across the room because you remembered something else that you want to do now all of a sudden it's a scatterbrain kind of thing but it's also a fidgeting thing sometimes because of that not wanting to sit still having a lot of what's the what I'm looking for here the mind kind of wanders sometimes if you're like me and then things happen <laughs> so one of those things that happens for me is if I have a little more anxiety than usual that day or maybe I'm thinking about one thing I actually don't even know how to honestly explain why this happens but I have always most of my life had an issue where I want to do this pick at my fingers because it's a I think it is a mental thing there is a like term for what that's called and everything if you have that issue or that habit of picking at your own finger skin or whatever that does not make you weird that does not mean you're the only person on earth who does it it's just that a lot of people don't talk about doing it and anytime I have brought it up with some people, I feel like, and I don't bring it up that often in person. I don't talk about that habit of mine, but it's a real thing. And a beautiful thing about social media and the internet is some people do get a little more vulnerable and real and they share their personal stories. And because of other people opening up on social media and talking about their experiences with dermatillomania and picking, it made me feel a lot less alone. Yes, there have been times when it was really bad, but, and I, I bring up the ADHD and anxiety thing because I feel like those might be connected anyway. it's all a mental thing but there are solutions for it now I can't guarantee this is going to work for you but a couple things work for me one you'll notice I always have these nails on I always have long nails the main reason for that is the function which is that they don't allow me to pick up my skin basically they're thicker than a natural nail and they just I can't really do it with these so it helps it's like a barrier between me myself and I <laughs> and then the other thing I found the mint and lily cells and I've heard of these before but I didn't know they could ever look as pretty as they do is these fidget rings so they have a few different other styles as well but I got these because it's something that if I do get that feeling of like I don't know if I, I don't know for me it's if I'm in say a job interview or maybe I'm meeting up with a new person I've never met in person or something and now we're sitting at a restaurant and we're face to face and it's me and that person and that's all it is. It's just the two of us talking and that can be intimidating. It really can. As somebody who does get that anxiety type of stuff, I'm not gonna lie to you, I really do. No matter how much practice I get with meeting people, talking to people and all of that, there are still some times when I find myself feeling anxious and the hardest thing to do when I feel like that is just to sit still. If it's not me doing this kind of thing or just like shifting positions and looking around and stuff, it's I'm tapping my foot or something is gonna be just moving around with me and in this case these have been helpful whenever i do wear them and they're really pretty too i think so all of mint and lily's jewelry are tarnish free like they will stay not tarnishing allegedly i shouldn't say that mint and lily offers free shipping over 65 dollars purchases so i always think that's nice when shipping is free they use quality materials something that i care about a lot so this brand really hits two marks for me as far as what kinds of products I like posting about on my channel. So one, there is a use and a function that could help improve someone's life if they also face the fidgeting and picking and whatever, anxiety, all of that. It could help you, it can improve your life and it's quality. So we love that. I'm here for the quality. I'm not just gonna throw whatever at you anymore. Like <laughs> It's only if it's a good product and a good brand. So that's why I love what I got from them and it has a use. That's one of my favorite things about any product. If you don't remember this, earlier this year I had the minimalist phase on this channel. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a minimalist full send, but there are minimalist elements about the way that I think about making purchases and things that I'll choose to buy or not buy. And one thing for me is if it has more than one purpose, like in this case, it's a pretty accessory, but it's also something that can help me to fidget in an effective way that's not destructive <laughs> or anything. It, yeah, it's great because it's both of those things. So I feel like part of buying less things is buying things that do more than one thing sometimes. So it can accessorize your outfit, but it also gives you something to fit you with. I think it's perfect. That's about it from my experience with Mint and Lily. When you get yours, it'll come in this little box and this little white pouch as well. 
is where the jewelry will be found. I think it's great. I really do. And if you want to see more of Mint and Lily's selection, you can go to the link in my bio to check them out. And hopefully you'll find something that you or someone in your life likes. They also have personalized options, which as someone with a unique name that does not come standard on any monogram type name stuff and I have to get personalized things if I want my name on something, I love that too. So you have a unique name, Min Lily's got your back. Just type it in the bar when you're ordering the personalized item and they'll put it on there for you. Thank you, Mint and Lily, for collaborating with me on this. And hopefully if anyone sees this video, they will find something they like on the website. I don't know, or maybe something that you think someone you know would like, and then you can give it to them as a gift. Perfect, thanks for checking it out. And I'll see you in the next video. And reminder, if you like cute little accessories, but you also like fidgeting, <laughs> you're not alone. There are products made just for people like us. So you got this and I'll see you next time. Bye.